morning. I hope you're all well. My name is Rachel, solo mum to one, and today is another day in a life. And today, and basically this weekend, we are having a lazy weekend at home. We are not going out anywhere. I am doing a no spend month. So one of the reasons we're staying in is because I'm doing a no spend month. If I don't go out, I can't spend money. So I know I can spend it online, but my idea is if I don't go out, my son won't see stuff that he wants. <laughs> he won't spend money. Um, another reason that I'm not going out this weekend is because very sadly, um, yesterday, Friday the 19th of January, my auntie passed away. Um, we knew she was very poorly and we knew we didn't have that long left with her. She went into hospital on Wednesday, the 17th of January, and she was told she would only have a couple of days left. And at 11am on Friday, the 19th of January, she sadly passed away. As you can imagine, there's a lot of tears at the moment. My mum is one of seven and this is her first sibling that she's lost. Um, and my mum is 65 this year and she's the baby of the family. And the fact that she hasn't lost a sibling yet until yesterday is pretty amazing. Uh, my dad is one of 10 and he's already lost three of his siblings. So, you know, big family. So we decided just to have a bit of a lazy day at home in case any of the family wanted to come round and or anything and, and see my mum because obviously we're going to spend it with my mum this weekend but we've got lots to do lots to do so I've got to declutter my son's toy box that's not going to be an easy quest because he's just going to want to keep all his toys uh, we've got somebody coming around to pick up his old bike that I sold um, what else do we have going on? It's his birthday party in a few weeks' time, so he's going to help me put all his party bag together. We're going to bake bread. We're going to make donuts. We're going to play on the Switch. Um, so we've got quite a lot of stuff to be doing at home. We might not get all of it done today, but we'll get it done over the weekend. So, yeah, so it's going to be a lazy weekend. Um, I've only literally just woke up. I decided not to work out today and to have a bit of a rest day. I've got quite a sore back for some reason. Um, and I just thought, oh, I just rest. And plus, like, really, I'm not in the mood because I did love my auntie. She was, a, she was a little bit crazy, but she was one of the nicest people I know. And she was always there to help. So it's a little bit sad right now. Anyway, on to positive things. So I'm going to go and clean up and then I'm going to have a shower, wait for my son to wake up. And then, as I said, we're going to be baking bread, decluttering, um, making donuts, playing on the switch, just doing general stuff. And plus it's a no spend month, so I don't want to go out and let my son see things that he wants and then cause them out that I when he can't have them because he's still only young and he still wants everything in sight. So yeah, so we're going to have a weekend in and just have fun with being at home and doing bits and pieces at home. So let me go and clean up and get myself showered and uh, we'll see where the day takes us. I'm just cooking breakfast. My son is having scrambled egg and sausages and I'm having my usual porridge. But I thought I would quickly show you what I did yesterday. So I'm embarking on this journey of starting to make more foods at home rather than buy store-bought foods. As I'm going through my holistic living course, I'm learning a lot about like ultra processed food and the chemicals that are added to make it last longer. And personally me, just personally me, I don't really want to live that way. So I want to start making my own food at home. Now, I know this is gonna be a process. This isn't gonna be something that happens overnight because I'm not the greatest cook or baker. I mean, I can do it, I can kind of get by. I can see you. I can kind of get by, but I'm not brilliant at it. So I'm still going to have to buy the processed food for a while um, until I can kind of learn how to cook and learn how to bake well enough so that my son will eat the food because he's a, he's a fussy little monkey, aren't you? But anyway, yesterday I tried making my own tortilla wraps. So this is kind of how they come out. So it's not too bad at all. I think I made about 10 altogether. Um, I still need to practice them because they taste really, really... Hello. Hello. 
Oh, he's just saying hello. Um, so they come out a bit too flowery. So I don't know if I just put too much flour in um, or I don't know whether as I was rolling them out on the kitchen top that maybe they were, I put too much flour down then which made them taste a bit more flowery. So I've got to practice, but for my first ever go and they're turning out like this, I didn't think that was too bad. So I'm starting off slow and I'm going to make tortilla wraps again, but today we are making bread, aren't we? Uh, yeah, and I have to punch. You're going to punch it. Yeah? Yeah. And so, what, what? Hello, YouTubers. That's nice of you to say hello to yeah. everybody. Those tortilla wraps are very, 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 very flowery. Yeah, so just need to work a little bit more on them, but we'll get there. So it's my first go, and I'm going to make mistakes till I can get better. So, but we'll just see how it goes. But I wanted to do tortilla wraps, and I wanted to do bread. Those are the first two things I want to work on. Once I've mastered that, then I'll do something else. We still got loads of food left over from Christmas, and I'm not a waster, so we will eat all of the food that we had for Christmas but as I as it kind of goes out of the house I'm just going to find an alternative way or start cooking more at home and batch cooking and things like that so I know it's not for everybody and if you want to eat the ultra processed food and the processed food I'm not going to sit here and say you shouldn't be doing that because I believe that it's your choice to put whatever you want in your body so it's just this is a personal thing for me and plus I also feel I want to say back in the day, but even before then, like my gran, I never knew my gran. She died when my mum was 14 years old, so I never got to meet her. But I hear stories that every Sunday she would bake bread and pies and all these different things. And it would last her the week. And that's how she got through uh, difficult financial times. And I think it would also save me money in the long run. But I'm going to embark on a journey. I'm going to take you along with me. So if you have any hints or any tips of how I can make better tortilla wraps or make the best bread or anything else that you think I should start making from home, I'd really appreciate any advice that you may have. Um, it would be really helpful. But right now, his sausages are done. I've got to make his scrambled egg and then I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and some porridge. And I'll come back to you in a bit. So we're going to start the day with making some bread because I know it needs to sit for a little while uh, so I found a recipe in an old recipe book of my mum's so this is grandma's best recipes so there's a recipe for a basic white loaf in this book so I've got that um, and then this little man behind me is going to help me do it so let's get sorted and we'll show you how we're making bread today so my little one decided that I should do the boring part of making bread and he's just going to come in and knead it, which he says, I'm going to punch it. So I'm doing the boring part and he's coming in to punch it. So let's get started. I'm a little bit nervous because I've not done this for 20 years or so. So I'm a bit nervous of doing it, but the only way I'm going to learn is to actually do it. So the recipe says to mix the flour, the salt and yeast together in a mixing bowl. So I can do that. So if anyone does have any tips on how to make bread um, without a bread maker and without a Dutch oven. I will invest in a Dutch oven though, um, but my mum said that you can get them in charity shops quite often. So when I've done my no spend month, I'm gonna go on the hunt in the charity shops to see if I can find a Dutch oven. Flour's in and then I need the yeast in. I've already weighed everything out. I'm prepared. I've got the salt in now. The yeast is in and the flour is in. And then I've just got to mix that. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> so far so good. Oh, am I so nervous of making bread? I don't know. Right, we don't have oil in the house. I don't like having oil in the house. So it says use melted butter or oil. So I'm gonna add the water in and oil or melted butter and then stir until it forms a soft dough. So I'm literally following the instructions. So if I do this wrong, it's the instructions fault. And I've got 300 millilitres, that's what it says, of warm water. And then I've just got to mix that. 
The dog's not quite well at the moment. I feel like he's constantly going to the fair. He's nearly 12 years old, but I don't know what's going on. Like, first of all, we had the skin infection and even the vet thought that he was gonna be um, saying to us that that's it. We cleared that up and then we had to go back because his glands were full, so the vet needed to empty those. And now we think his back's playing him up and his back could be gone. Um, I know it's prone in Wes's for that to happen, but yeah, so it looks like we might be losing our dog this year as well. So we lost my auntie yesterday and it looks like we could be losing a dog as well this year. So, But at the moment he's still here, so we are not going to overthink things too much because I know that it'll just get too upsetting. Right, I think I've formed this into a dough. I don't know. <laughs> Right, and then it says to turn the dough out onto a lightly floured board and knead well by hand for five to seven minutes. So this is what my bread looks like. Is that right? I mean, is that how it's supposed to look like? Who knows? By the time this goes out, I would have already done it. So we'll see what happens. But I'm going to show you the process. If I am doing it wrong, you can tell me and I can fix it next week because I'm going to make it again next week. I'm going to make it every single week until I perfect it because I know I can do it. But I give up on things so easily, so easily. I kind of like hyper focus on something and then all of a sudden it'll be like, oh, I'm bored of it now and I'll lose interest. So I am being tested for ADHD. So I think if I have got it, it will explain so much to me. But 40 years old and being diagnosed, I know it's quite common and easy for people to say it, but I really do feel like it's affecting my everyday life right now. I'm, go I'm going to the doctor to get tested. So we need to knead this now for five to seven minutes. So I'm gonna go and get my boy and see if he wants to help me. Hi, hi YouTubers. Um, I'm helping my, my mum make some white bread. White bread, that's right. So you're gonna do this and push, yeah. and push. So fold. So like fold and push. <laughs> that's right. Fold, fold and push. Yeah, keep can, going. Can, can you do that? With what? I've got floury hands too. Let me do it. <laughs> uh, okay, so okay, you can do it. Yeah, good. Yes. Side, do that way. That's it. Side, do that way. Side, do that way. It's so fun, guys. You better try it at home. There you go. Try making your own bread because he said it here first. You just put some more flour. That's it. Is it a bit sticky? Yeah. Okay, you it. guys, it's so fun. If you have kids, you better try it with your kids. <laughs> yeah, it's so fun. You better try this at home. Better try it at home, see? And Even my boy is giving you inspiration. Thank you, you're done. That's all you need to do. I want to count now. I know, but I've got to do it again later, look. Because it says you've got to return the dough to the board with pin film and leave to rise in a warm place for one hour. And when it's doubled in size, turn it out and you've got to do this again. Okay. I like this. I know, but I need to finish it off now. Well done, I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much. So he's gone to wash his hands now. But that's another reason why I wanted to start making things from home because it gets him involved in it as well. And not just that, but by him being involved when he gets older and then he moves out or goes to uni or whatever one comes first, you know, he might not go to uni, he might just go and move out. Or if he does go to uni, he's going to have these skills you know, he's not kind of like being waited on. He knows how to make bread. He knows how to cook and clean and all that kind of stuff. So he does have chores. So if you'd like me to go through the chores that I have for my son, then do let me know. But I don't call them chores. I call them pocket money jobs. So he gets paid for the chores that he does. So if it's like you have to set the table for dinner and then you have to clear the table away after dinner, you get 20p if you do if you make your bed every day you get 10p and he's got a little chart which he marks off and at the end of the week we work out how much he's earned and then after he's done at the end of the month he gets whatever he's done so some day some months he can get up to 10 pound and if he's been a bit lazy then he won't get that much but it's a great way, I feel, for teaching him uh, the value of money and teaching him that when you do the work, then you get paid for it. So um, my cousin did it with her kids and I was only like 20, maybe younger than that, when she told me about it. 
And I've always said when I have my own children, that's something that I want to do with them so that um, they know that um, many you have to work, whether that's working from home, owning your own business, working in um, a factory, a shop, a office job, whatever it may be, but he's learning that skill now. So anyway, that's now done. So I've got to return that to the bottle, cover it in cling film and leave it for one hour to rise. And then um, what are we gonna do then? Oh, we're gonna do my party bags. Huh? We're gonna do my party bags. We'll do your party bags. Can I do it again? No, it's done now. Okay. Done now, we've got to put it in a bowl. And we've got to, don't do that because I need that for another loaf. So, we put that in the bowl now, and now we've got to cover that with cling film. Right, now we've got to leave that in a warm place for one hour. That's now in the bowl there, so we've got to wait one hour now. So it's ten past nine, so we'll wait till ten past ten, and we'll come back and see what it's like. In the meantime, I'm going to go and finish off the labels for my son's party bags, and then do you want to put the party bags together after that? Okay, so we'll be back when it's ready for bread time again. We've just done the next part of the bread making. My son was so eager to get his hands in. He didn't give me enough time to turn the camera on. We now took it out of the bowl. We kneaded it again and we shaped it in um, a loaf shape and we put it in the tin and now we've got to leave it to rise again for 30 minutes. But yeah, he was so eager. He was like, oh my God, look at this. He was so excited of the process. So this is really, really good. This is what I wanted. I really wanted to get him involved in home cooking and making things from scratch. So, so far a success, but <laughs> let's see if the bread actually turns out how it's supposed to. And in the meantime, we're going to start getting some party bags ready. So he's a very excited little boy today, which is great seeing that we're having a weekend in. Excuse my dirty oven, but the bread is in and it's rising. So now it's just waiting. I feel like I'm sat on the floor like Great British Bake Off waiting for my bread to rise. Let's see what happens. I've just come upstairs for a bit of a breather. I think I was just getting overwhelmed by everything. I don't know whether it's everything that's happening and going on. I'm not sure, but I just feel a bit overwhelmed and a little bit stressed out. We made the bread. Looks fantastic, I'll show you later. So really happy with that, really in a good mood most of the day. Uh, my little one started getting a bit hangry around lunchtime, so gave him lunch, he's fine now. But I don't know, I just started getting a bit overwhelmed of everything and just feel like I can never keep up. There's always something else to do and I find it so overstimulating. So I was making the bread, I cleaned up, that took me all morning, all morning that took me to do. I'm now changing the bed and then I've got to play on the switch and I've got to do his party bags and every time I do something I can find 10 other jobs and then I just overwhelm myself. Is that just me or is that just part of motherhood and life that we all have to kind of deal with? I just feel like I'm struggling a little bit and I know we all struggle and that's okay because you know it's life isn't it? But I just feel today is a little bit tough so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my bed because it needs changing and plus there is nothing better than getting into fresh bedding is there i feel like i'm always hungry at the moment maybe i'm due my monthly does anybody else get hungrier before their monthly happens so maybe that's it i'm not sure or maybe i'm just stress eating i could just be stress eating and then i think i'm going to put the switch on and play the switch with my son for a little bit maybe that will get me out of this little funk i've kind of got myself in for a bit and then we started watching Gladiators in the UK. You know, the TV show, love it. Brings me right back to my childhood. And now my son's loving it as well. So I think we're going to watch that tonight and then just have some downtime. I do have to declutter, but I think I'm going to declutter and do all of that tomorrow and just be a bit kinder to myself because I'm just feeling a bit of a funk at the moment. And um, I suppose that's normal and that's okay. That's absolutely fine to feel that way. But I'm going to get on with this and then I will show you the bread that we made. We haven't cut it yet. We want it to cool down, but I will show you and see how it went. Oh, I hope it went well, but let's have a look in a bit. So I wanted to show you the bread, but my mum and my son digged into it first. <laughs> so it's already been cut, but let me show you actually what it looks like. I'm actually quite chuffed with it. My first loaf of bread and about 
20 years I guess um I'm actually quite pleased that my son loves it uh my mum is I said to my mum don't eat it <laughs> pull it back I haven't finished so she's waiting for her piece of bread now and uh, my son's got burgers for dinner tonight so I'm actually going to use the bread as like a bun because I haven't got any buns is that okay oh you're jumping up and down so that's obviously good so here it is here's our bread and it's, this is it obviously cut um i think that's good if you are a bread person do let me know if i have done a good job because i'm not 100 percent sure but even for my first attempt i'm quite pleased with that so let's see what happens next week feeling much better now um i played on a switch with my little one for about an hour and a half uh, completed a few more levels on the mario wonder i always kind of stop him when he starts getting really frustrated and then that's when i say right that's enough now let's put it away let's finish this this level or finish this game and then we put it away and we'll come back to it tomorrow um i know that if i let him go on and he's just frustrated it's just going to get worse and worse and it's just going to um, trickle through for the rest of the evening so i stopped him after about an hour and a half and before that he was playing brilliantly so we did that and then i cooked dinner um i didn't have any rolls for the burgers so i just cut slices of bread cut the crust off and then made that as a sandwich <laughs> for the burger which he then decided to destruct and eat it separately anyway so what was the point but he ate it, he's had a nice dinner, he's just having his pudding uh, while I'm coming up to get ready for bed. And then we're going to sit down and we're going to watch Gladiators, I think. And I'm going to do some of my puzzle because I haven't done it for a week because it's just been hectic. So, and that is what our plan is. I also finished off all his party bags. So they are ready to go for his party in a couple of weeks. Um, I do have a party bag video coming up where I go through everything that I put in my son's party bag. A lot of it I already had from previous parties, need to get rid of it, so they've got a bit more than they probably would normally have. But my son really enjoyed putting them all together. So that's all done. So all I've got to do now is the cake, which I've got to do a few days before. Like I said, I'm going to sit down and do some of my puzzle. We're going to watch Gladiator. Um, and I think once that's finished, I think... I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe watch a bit of Bluey because that seems to be the addiction at the moment or we'll watch a film. But it's been a bit of a lazy, non-eventful day after the death of my auntie yesterday. So I think we just needed a little bit of a day of doing not much at all, which is great when you're doing a no-spend month because... You don't have to go out and spend any extra money. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I am going to end the vlog here so that I can just have some downtime with my son because I think I need it today. Um, if you have any thoughts on my bread, then do let me know. My mum's only critique, I would say, was that it wasn't very white. So... I don't know if anyone can help me with that one. <laughs> but other than that, she said it was absolutely lovely. And she said that when you make homemade bread, it's so much more filling than the store-bought bread because there's no chemicals in it, is there? So it's obviously more filling. But if you have any thoughts on my bread or how I can make it better or what I can be making next. So I've got, obviously, tortilla wraps that I've done. Um, I've also got... Um, the bread that I just made and I'm going to attempt puff pastry at some point but if you've got any other ideas of what kind of things I can start making rather than buying from the store do let me know and I will add it to my list. I really appreciate you watching my video Um, it means the world to me and thank you for letting me ramble and, and being with me while I bake some bread. <laughs> So, you know, you might be with me when I make some puff pastry next. I don't think that's going to go well. But positive mindset. So let's see what happens. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you've had a great weekend or you're having a wonderful day whenever you are watching this. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. If you are not new here, but you are yet to subscribe, again, please consider doing so. You can get all the content from me. And if you have subscribed, you sent me a comment, you've liked a video or anything else, or even joined the Facebook group, thank you so much for sticking around and supporting me. I really do appreciate it. I hope whenever you're watching this, you are having a good morning, good day or good evening, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.